I heard a rumor that there was something you called uh, ISO. Did you know something you called ISO? It's not confirmed, but I had a rumor that there's something called ISO. Now, this ISO, their job is to know, to suspect people. You don't have to wait for me to, to do bad things. You are, in our language, we call them beggar. So, even these ones who are coming from South Sudan, very easy for these beggars to establish like a business group involving people even on the other side who, who can appear as if they are doing business, but in fact, they are very easy. So that you have intelligence-led operations because it seems the operations by Nomusha is talking about are re reaction, reaction. There is a raid, then you react to trace the one who has raided. But why couldn't you discover this person before he raided, or if he raided, if he raided once, even if, you, if, even if you don't catch him now, 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 now? Why can't you, through the inquiry method, the Okuburza, investigation, locate who he is, and, and then we'll go for him, both inside Karamoja and even across the border in, in South Sudan. Sir, the current security situation in the 5th Division area of responsibility the, is calm at this moment, except we just had a few cases of rice stoker theft, and even some killing and injuries of innocent civilian by Kajongo thieves from Kotido and Langiz from South Sudan, Yukotos. And even we have registered some torture has been reported a certain equation, and this mostly happened when the ferry Directly, failure to identify the location of the cows at the end, they end up uh, tortured the civilians so that they can restock, we can locate, locate the, where the claro and the animal is. So the challenges with our brothers in South Sudan, in the border, especially the border demarcation, where they claim that River Nyumu, which is inside in Uganda, is that there is a borderline. That is the way that they have a problem. As for issues of uh, cattle wrestling, we have only registered one incident in Otuke, where some animals were taken. There was also an incident that had been reported earlier on in Alibutong, but later we realized it was just ordinary theft. We have a force of 1,200 personnel only, within the nine districts of the region, inclusive of the city that already has two divisions. We had a small force of the anti stoko safety team that was in Otuke, but it was eventually withdrawn and taken to Karamoja to beef off those areas that were having a bigger challenge in terms of steering of cattle, sir. I would like to thank you, Your Excellency, together with all the armed forces for showing all of us Ugandans that it is because of peace and security that our children can go to school, that all the business people can go to the markets, that even those who need health attention can go to the health facilities, and so on and so forth. I say that because I would like to pick from the point where you said that this is a more of law enforcement operation. It's not a war.